Hi, everybody. Welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. Let's get started on what I want to do. I'm reviewing some Dollar Tree stamps that I found, and they're brand new. Did that, did that rhyme? <laughs> okay. So, like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Okay, let's get going. I'm reviewing these two stamping blocks. Plus, I have other stamping blocks to use. And eight cents sets of stamps. Now, I'm not going to use every single stamp in the set, okay? Because that will just be an hour-long video, and we want to make this as short as possible. So there's going to be a lot of pauses and a lot of jumpings to different scenes. So let's get started. We're going to do the ABC one. I'm looking for the bigger one, um, but uh, I can't find it. And I know there, the, there are other sets of stamps. There's uh, cute little goofy ones that I, I did see in the store, but I didn't pick them up because um, this is more kind of like my style right here for junk journaling. And uh, there's more out there that are beautiful junk journal stamps. And I am hunting for them. I go out every other day, every other week or so, um, maybe every third day to go and look in different Dollar Trees for the other ones. Like there's a bigger set like this. And it's only one set of alphabets, but it's bigger and I want it. So I'm looking for it. There's a, another set that is a background set that has square stamps about this big. And it has maybe um, chicken wire background and some other little background stamps. And then there's a couple more that look like, um, they look like um, postage stamps. And those are sets too. I want those and I'm looking for them. Now, each of these I had bought a double two for a giveaway for when I hit higher up. So, and one of these is for the giveaway, but I'm still going to test it. All right, let's get started. Now, which one are we going to do? I said the alphas first. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to load up a stamping block hey guys look what I found on this one there is a backing that you peel off of this one somebody told me that one of these did not work well and it might have been that you had a protective backing on it um, maybe you could look for it I did think it looked funny because it looked dull so I found that protective backing on it. I really do like that. There is not one on the clear one, not at all. So we have two of these. Now I'm going to come back after I have loaded up um, a couple of words on each one. How's that? And some numbers. Okay, so wait, first of all, how do they peel? They peel off this way very well, but how do they peel off the plastic? So I'm going to go for the top, eight, you know, the top letters here. I want to spell out a word and then use a couple of numbers. So I'm going to spell out hello, H. I'm going to get the H. Oh, see. Oh, wait a minute. I think you have to cut them apart. Yes, you do. So they come in a strip, and I think you have to cut them apart. Okay. So you could just take them and then just cut them on the line. It has a cutting line, so they do come apart. I'm not going to throw them or pull them. <laughs> I'm not going to pull them apart, but they do. Yep. There's the H. Nope, you can't, you shouldn't pull them apart. So, there's H. So, I'm going to put the H on the grid. H. I hope I, sp I hope I do it right. <laughs> okay. 
E. Was that an E? No, I can't see these letters. No. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, already I didn't print anything out, and I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to use these. Not at all. You either have to cut them apart or you print the whole strip um, and then cut the letters out from the strip. Now, this one I'll test out in a minute. This is the other one um, from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be testing that right now. But the other, <clears throat> this one didn't fit any stamps in this set right here. Not happy. Don't know how to use that one. <laughs> I don't know but you know me I'm gonna tell you the truth right so let's just see how they print so you'll see the word I've used when I print it out craft very nice very nice printing but you either have to cut these apart and use them separately and you're going to take a chance on them falling off because they're not that sticky after you touch them all the time um to me this is maybe between i would say a six and a seven not very high score um if i had to i like them they're a dollar 25 I like them, but I don't. How's that? Now, you can print them this way. Take Then take the letters and cut them out. Or whatever you want to do. You can cut them in circles or whatever. But I like the numbers. I really do. They're very nice. But you can also cut them in little squares, which would be tedious to glue each one of them, too. So I'm believing that you're supposed to cut these strips apart. Right here. These are strips. Oh, you can't see it, guys. These are strips. And I'm believing that you have to cut them apart to use them, which is okay. Hopefully, they will stay where they belong when you put them back or when you put them back on a block okay it doesn't seem like they stick as well as the timu ones that i just used but you know you're getting a nice big set 114 pieces for a dollar 25 my only problem is trying to put them back and it's tedious but you're talking to someone who has ulnar nerve who who had ulnar nerve damage that was healed but still has a couple of problems because she's developing arthritis so these are okay i will be back with uh, another set hold on the next set is this set oh, why don't I just put it back that's the next set okay so we're going to peel it off with you guys so that we can see how hard it peels or how hard it is to peel it all right we're going to take the pot and we're going to put it on this one and then we're going to take a couple of, maybe one flower and a, whatever, maybe a leaf we can fit on there. Nice. They peel nice. Okay. Now, see, I had a hard time last year with the birds um, peeling off. So, nice. That peels good. Now I'm going to try both stamping blocks, okay? That's why you see both stamping blocks. And then later on, I'm going to load up the bigger ones. Once I tell you how I like these stamping blocks. Oh, that's a little too big, isn't it? I'm just getting a little too generous. 
Okay. And then. Da, 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 da. Okay. Enough flowers, okay? Now we're not going to build a flower kind of like thing. We're just going to try out these stamps and the platform and the, um, the hell, it, I mean, the stamping blocks. What the heck? What the heck? Okay. Now, very thin, nice to hold, very small. I think I'm going to go this way and press and press and press. Now the grids, the feel of the grids are over on this side. You don't put the stamp on this side. You put it on the opposite side where the grids are made. And that does print nicely. Um, it is a little weak right here, but that's okay because when you color it in, it's not really going to matter. Now we're going to ink up all the flowers that I put on here in a leaf. I do like these little stamping blocks. I want to say platform because I was doing it. I was doing this with my platform the last time, so I keep over em emphasizing the word blocks because m the word platform keeps popping up in my head so here we go that's a very nice set look at how well it prints very nice set you get a little bit of weakness here but maybe it's because of the way it's on here who knows but you really do get some nice printing. Let's try my old ones, which are much thicker. They are from the Dollar Tree, but they are sharp here, not as sharp. So let's try a couple more stamps from here. I like my older ones, I'm telling you guys. So let's try that and see if they will stamp evenly. I'm not sure about this one, guys. Really, I'm not. The stamping block. I mean, I want to just say something else. Okay. First of all, I know I am on a crease on this paper. So, ready? Yes. Okay. I know it's the crease on the paper. I'm sorry. Um, I do like the way they do print. They print very well. They peel off very well. They don't hurt your hands coming off. They clean up nicely and they go back very nicely. Okay, I'll be back. Here's another one that I am going to test with the small brand new stamping blocks. Um, I can get a piece of paper. Oh my goodness. All right. There's two pieces of paper here. I just can't get them apart. All right. Here we go. I'm going to open it up. If you ever want to know how to get something back into its package without having the sticky part catch it, just fold the sticky part over on the flap here. And then you can just take it, take your item out of the bag and watch how it slips back in without catching. See? That's a little tip for you. So here we go. I'm going to take this one off. The only thing I don't like is these are on a piece of plastic, but on this side, they're on cardboard. There is no plastic for this side. I don't like that. So I'm going to try this one more time. These peel harder. Okay. This happened to me last year, but I could barely get them off last year. So I'm going to put one flower on this block. And 
maybe a saying what do you think on that block let's see what happens so what i don't know what this saying says so we'll find out when we stamp it how's that now we can stamp the rest with this block not all of it but let's just say a couple of flowers I like these blocks better. The, the bigger blocks are bigger and thicker. Much thicker on the side, guys. And we're going to take a leaf here. Whoops. See, some of these are hard to get off. Nope. But they're still good. And let's see, what are we going to take? How about... Ugh, so thoughtful. Whatever. I don't know what it says. <laughs> All right. There we go. Stamping black number one from the Dollar Tree. And these are this year's purchase. I really do like last year's. Look how much thicker they are, guys, compared to these. These are tiny. Yep. Don't like that. All right. Let's just stamp in the corner here. Ta-da! That is beautiful. That came out nice. Okay, so that does work well. Both of the, the stamp and the block. Okay, uh, that's okay, it works okay. Pretty good. Now for the last year's stamping block, or the year before, who knows? But I do like these, I didn't like them before, but I like them now because I see what they came out with this year. You're getting less acrylic for more money for that extra 25 25 cents you get a lot of acrylic here on this block for a dollar here and then for a dollar 25 for this one hmm okay that's just me and my price comparison. That's what I do. What's the better value? Actually, these stamps. Wait till I'm not going to say it until I pick it up. These stamps do work nicely. Okay, that is this. Now, we're going to put these back, and I'll be back. Okay, so now I have tested these blocks out, but we're going to go for bigger blocks so we can get done quicker. So I have this block that I really like, and it's from Michaels. Um, and then I might do a, let's see, this 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 is from stampabilities i bought this in hobby lobby so let's just get going on this i'm gonna load this up without you being here i'll be right back all right i came back to show you something do you see something look this is very hard to peel this one so be careful when you're peeling it try to go like 
get your little fingers up under it like I'm doing. Um, I'm always so afraid I'm going to tear them. I have torn a stamp like that, but they shouldn't be that tough to get off of there. All right, so I'm just going to put this one on this block. And I'm going to take a sentiment and put it above. Oh, boy. Ooh, these are tough. Okay. I'm going to put it above the bike. Then we'll take, oh, what? What do you want? Okay, a couple little flowers and put it on the little block. Those are okay. And this one says something about being happy. And, okay. Let me take one more flower and put it on this side. Okay. That is it. I'm not taking any more off. <laughs> okay. Sometimes we press on to the stamp pad this way. And boom. So those do, they do print nicely. Um, uh, this little flower, I don't know. We'll see. Let's finish off this set because we are up at 20 minutes already. Wow, we guys. Holy moly. I shouldn't worry about it. Let's print this one. Uh oh. I don't think the middle got any ink. All right. Oh, boy. I don't know about that one. That beat it up a lot. All right. Are you ready to see? Ooh, that is beautiful. So, yes, that one did print out nice. I thought it was beautiful. Now I've loaded up this one. I am trying to save on time. We have three more to do, and we are done. So I loaded up this stamping block with these. These really peeled nicely off of the acetate and off of the cardboard. If you want... You can cut your own acetate to the same size and put it on the back side. I think I'm going to do that because I do have some acetate and I'm going to be protecting these stamps that way. So now I'm going to ink up. Oh, I forgot what the woman, oh, named these. I remember her asking what they were. I think it was Jody. Um, and then somebody answered it, and then now it just went out of my head. But I remember picking these when I was a young lady in the front yard for my mommy at seven years old. And uh, we had a bush of these. I wish I could still see them again, because that was a nice memory, bringing in a bouquet of these flowers for mama. But I did get in trouble for going out of the house without permission when <laughs> I was that age. My mother freaked out when we disappeared. We went flower picking everywhere, me and my sister. We even went to the orchards, which was like three miles away from us during the spring and the fall. Um, we picked some apples to, to eat in the fall with our lunch that we brought up to the orchards on our bikes in our baskets. We had front baskets on our bikes. I had a banana seat. Okay. 
it was just fun and these beautiful flowers remind me of that of going out to her front yard my mama's front yard underneath the big nine count uh, picture window and picking these geez i haven't thought of that in a long time okay that's that one these print very nicely i like the quality of the print um i'm going to show you all of them that i've printed so far at the end but look at the quality of the print on that one really nice okay we're gonna do another i will be back okay so i loaded this one up next and i did load i did take the liberty to load the other three the other two sets up so this one is um timbres oh never mind it doesn't have this doesn't have a name to it but it's it's the flowers that you can do in colors i'm just going to do them in black and then you have some sayings so i did a few on one huge block that i have okay so we're just going to stamp what i have here i want to see how they stamp and i bet you they will stamp well i should have done my platform instead of the block with these we'll see guys I'm not sure about these it looks like the ink is beating up on this so we'll see you might have to do this two or three times just to get it right sometimes you have to let the pores in the stamp be able to absorb more ink so that it will be steady for your next um stamping session so i'm going to turn the paper this way and we're going to i'm going to stamp down here because this is very big all right i'm not sure how this is going to turn out it could be the black because this black is from stamping up and it is very very fat very thick there okay they're okay i think you have to do these in color though honestly but considering how big the block is i'm giving it an excuse it's good it's okay it doesn't print that well I bet you it will print once again if if I do it again let's we'll try I think it's the block but these stamps are quite large these flowers so <clears throat> try it one more time I do have ink up there too so Yow. let's see yeah you have to do it in color i think but i think that's the way these are made anyway they look like they're sketched so let's move on okay i don't know about that one but i still have a giveaway with it i mean the letters the letters are okay um just have to keep working at that one i think all right now we're going to do the bees we're gonna do the bees so i put all the bees in the set on here with a flower and a sentiment okay so we're just gonna stamp out a typical little card I hope this helps you guys and helps you decide 
to get the stamp sets or not. Um, me, I'm happy with almost all the stamp sets. This one, I'm not. I don't think I would buy that again. I do have one in a giveaway, and I might put this one in a giveaway. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But let's print this. Okay, ready for the reveal? Yes! That looks so beautiful. There's part of the flower that didn't come out on the bottom right side right there. But that's my fault because I didn't press there. That is a beautiful set. That one's very recommended. Now for the last but not least... So that was the B set, the dragonfly set, and hopefully these will become popular too. I really like these and I'm planning on doing junk journal, dragonfly junk journals. And as soon as I said I didn't want to, these came out and then more, uh, I found more dragonflies everywhere. Stop. Stop it. Don't do that. I'm trying to stamp. My kitty wants to come over and sit on the paper. That's not a good thing while I'm trying to stamp. But there's a piece of hair here. Don't want to stamp the hair. Okay. I don't want my kitty to come over and sit on the paper I'm trying to stamp on. How's that? <laughs> Hold on, Gabriella. All right. I'm glad I have these bigger stamping blocks. Then we can get this done quicker. I'm so happy. Ready? Yay! Oh my god, they are beautiful! Look at that. I think the ones that have skinnier lines in them, not this one, they print out more pretty or more beautiful so that is my review um these are quite smaller than the year befores these take a look at them side by side yeah this i like better this is the first ones that i found and i don't think that it's a year before i think it's a couple years but i've held on to those until i've gotten bigger stamp plat uh, blocks these blocks i'm not sure that i think they're both going to go in a giveaway i like them but i have enough they do the job so let me put ink the cover on my ink now we're done okay so if you guys like that review let me know Please put the comments in. It all helps. Give me likes, whatever you want. All right. We are going to pray now. Dear God, Father God, we thank you for sacrificing your son and providing the Holy Spirit for us. First and foremost, may we ask you to forgive us of our sins. And ask Jesus to come into our hearts and into our lives and be the Lord of our lives. And second of all, please, we ask that you fill us with your Holy Spirit. That we may go around in the power of the Spirit and God. Not our own power, but yours, God. And do the things you ask us to do. Help us to learn Help us to wash our minds with your word. Help us to study and eat your word. Help us to just grow in your spirit and grow in the mind of God and in the mind of Jesus. Help us to be more like your son, Lord, and live like your son. We're not perfect. We know that. We'll never be perfect. But the, as we strive to be like your son and to love like your son, 
Jesus, we will get near to perfect, and once we graduate to heaven, we will be perfect in your eyes. Lord, we thank you for everything. We thank you for your free salvation and the free gift of heaven and eternity. It beats the alternative. Thank you, Lord. The alternative of an eternity without you, of an eternity with torture. All those stories in the Bible are real, and people try to say it's not real, but it is. Lord, please open the eyes and the ears of the people listening to this prayer, and may they accept you in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, here is everything that I reviewed. Here are the pictures, um, the prints of what I reviewed. There are a couple of little dillies in there, but they still print very well. For $1.25, you are getting, um, I think, a bang for your buck. So these are really nice stamps, most of them. Um, this is the only one stamp set that I do not like. I'm going to try it in color, and if I like it like that, then I will decide whether I want it or not. Um, I have another. Um, but absolutely the dreamiest ones are the, the bee set and the dragonfly set. Because of the intricate lines that you get in there, you're getting more detail for your dollar. So that is my Dollar Tree stamp review. Hope you liked. Let me do something. Hope you liked it. And stay happy, guys. Um, God bless each and every one of you. And keep creating with love. Bye now.